Ladies and gentlemen, the champion is in the building. That is the unofficial champion in the building. And we're about to go ahead and go up against Victor Ortiz. The same Victor Ortiz who got knocked out by Floyd. He's going to know how to keep his hands on it. He had buddy for the first. But now he's trying to challenge us. And I don't think it's going to go well for him. I mean, he's a tough competitor. Remember, we're gonna guys, go ahead and get him up out of here. Commands like the video time. and sub to the channel. Let's have a good, clean fight. Go ahead and put the Touch beats on this boy. Let's go. Y'all go ahead and ring that bell now. Here we go, Fox. Come on. Ten rounds slated in the books tonight. Here's the first. Did they call him Vicious or Last fight has given a lot of vicious about this boy, man. That he's gonna roll through his opponent tonight. About to be a bobblehead this whole fight. Yeah, the benefit to that is going rounds. The more rounds you go, the more sure yourself you become, the more time you get to practice things. Now, what I can shows up. say, I can feel They're the tightness in his defense. So my punches ain't getting through like that, like, like I would like them to. Oh, nice but it ain't nothing he can't handle. I don't think he can rock us. I think he's going to oh, be the one getting rocked. Firing right back that's just how I feel about own. it. Good work I don't think he can bam, bam. like that. I don't think he can get us any trouble, I should say. Of, of course, we're not beating there. us. We're not losing. Bam, you see, he's trying to do my strategy. He's trying to go for the body. He can get in and out. I'm he missing. He can get you offensively. You he can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires. And you gotta take you got some, some air good out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than Ooh. go downstairs. Let's go. Do that again. Got it. Head oh, he's with stuck. The 90 seconds to go here in this round. He's trying to be that like me. Worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged now, like that. No, he he fast, but he's not fast. Like I can pretty much catch him. I just got to get his time in there. I am going for the body back though. At him with a left hand. That's what I like to do. I like to let these guys punch themselves out. So I'll just keep popping little shots to the body. More than like the head shots. Like I, I want the head shots. But you know, once you work the body, you get them tired. You know, the right hand. They can prevent that knockout. Ortiz is tagged by a hook. He gonna Takes keep getting tagged. One, gives one. Again. The right hand scores well. Porter's defense is paying off now. I miss with that little shot. Good okay, Victor. Dang, Final I'm just missing. He got some elite defense. I give him that. Ain't gonna be enough though. Ortiz's right hand scores well. Uh, I think I won that round. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches. I think I caused more damage to him. And look at his damage. He like punched himself out him so early. Well, well first of all, yeah, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget. They have a little damage, but they brought it down. So it's kind of gone. So he's not going to say nothing. In his head, he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen. That's how you know I'm working on my fighting because in the early stages of my career, I wasn't really damaging nobody. Body. I was just, I mean, I was knocking Locks people out, well. but I wasn't really giving, like, face damage. Porter's you know, like, I wasn't making like, nobody bleed, or I wasn't closing no eyes shut. Their faces wasn't really red like that. But now it is, because I've been working on my hands. And, of course, I know I still got the purple on. I'm probably going to wear the purple for, like, this fight Here's and then the next fight. Now, then we're right going to switch it up for sure. Hand. I got a color in mind that we're going to go with. Look at Victor. I'm trying to play possum. Ooh, I just missed. Dang. Stand still. Oh, he caught me. Oh, he, he catch me. Oh, he catch me to the body. Ortiz's I gotta be more careful. Admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring mm. himself. Yeah, what I think mm. is starting to happen here, Joe. We saw him throwing a lot of punches, but not real effective punches. I'm he ain't landing now, nothing really. Just right body. He catch me with the body shot. Like, I'm if he's and I, how am I missing? Because it didn't have the effect on his opponent. Yeah. He wanted it to. See, bro. On Got the mark with a straight left hand. Ooh. Reaching the halfway Ooh, mark him. of this round. How he hit me? Got him. He took a shot, but Got he him. gives one of his own a left hand score. I'm just gonna let him drain this up. Keep Atta punching. Keep swinging, I'm gonna just keep blocking and just catching little one shots. Nice. 
Nice. You notice I ain't even throwing no combinations. Got him. I ain't gonna really throw combinations until he open up a little bit. Right now he still got his uh, defense up pretty good. I'm catching these every time I go for a body shot, he just pop me back. Look at that. And I just missed the straight to the face. It's crazy. Got him. Good counter. You Knowing that fire sight that it hurt. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Ooh, pop me right in the face. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for Ooh. by Porter. Imagine if he would have threw a power up again. Remaining oh, ground, in this probably. round, covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Do y'all think Floyd cheated against Victor? Do y'all think and that was a valid knockout when uh, Victor was like in the middle after Victor head but it Floyd? Because he, he was like trying to hug him and say I'm sorry and he like kissed him on the cheek or whatever. And then he kept trying to hug Floyd and then Floyd knocked him on his ass. Because they're not rebounding, they're not boxing people, out lot of people, underneath the board. I mean, I say a lot of Floyd what, haters are saying that he cheated, but the rules of the game is to put yourself at all times. If he doesn't you know how, he does not and know how. He has and the not ref been never taught. stopped the fight. Don't the ref moved away. And he was supposed to continue. Even if you didn't think the ref said continue, keep your hands up, bro. You, you can't predict what the other man going to do. Even if the ref did call the timeout and the dude might just be mad at you, he just want to hit your ass. And you got your hands down and he pop you upside your head and you go down. You can't be mad because you're a professional boxer. You gotta keep your hands up at all times and protect yourself. I don't think Floyd cheated. I thought it was a legit shot. Plus, Victor, Victor kept trying to head, but because he was frustrated because he couldn't catch Floyd. I mean, he's just a goat, bro. Like, he gives as well as he's a goat he like me right now. Just can't be Floyd. He's a master at boxing. Of a very good counter punch. Hey, come on now, keep your feet moving. Come on now. Good you know what they say though? They say um They said Bruce Lee would have been a great boxer if he actually boxed. I would love to see. I would love to see that. Like, man. I wish you could just like recreate somebody and bring them back and just see hey, how their hey, life hey, is. Hey, hey, hey. Like, give him what you want to give him. Like, bring back Bruce Lee. Give him all his attributes, everything he had before, and put him in a boxing ring and see how he do. Because from what I was being, what I was, was reading and being told, they said Bruce Lee easily could have been one of the best boxers ever. Because he's just that good at fighting. Porter's putting forth that hard work he's I don't in know, training but, camp there, landing man, crisp definitely would have been something I would love to see. Get out of here. Do that combination right there. Come on, Victor. Put them hands, boy. Man, he did that blocking. So he doing? Boom. I just missed. I hit him with them jabs, How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? That's what I do. I'm always precise. He takes a shot ooh, ooh. and then commits to give him one right back. Come on. Come on. Follow me. Oh, yes. Good block. Good, solid overhand Ooh. left. There we go. Ortiz Take one, get one. Defense. There we go. Never good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Ooh. Went over my guard. I threw a punch and he went over the punch. And hit me with a hook. Ten seconds to go there we in go. his third round. How I miss, bro? How he hit me and I missed him? I got way more length than him. Get out of here with that. That's it. That's it. I need another round just like that, all right? You think I won that round, too. 90% stamina. He got 66. He punched himself out. He ain't got a little bit of damage. I want to see how his face looks. He's been on target that. with his attack. 10, Good 10, 10. Punching as we begin round All number four here, him. and he's up three to zip on your scorecard. Today. Even though Good the first round could have easily went to him because it wasn't the right way, that big of a win. He's usually getting clean think, shots. Like, he's getting the, the, the scales wasn't tipped that far in my hand. I, I don't believe. Teddy, what would you recommend based on yeah, what we're yeah. seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say. <laughs> You're going to need a lot of aspirin when I'm done. would be so just go. what the doctor ordered. I ain't even throwing no power punches yet. I'm going to throw him, though. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the right thing. So I'm waiting for the right time. I know what I'm throwing. I'm going to get stamina to get a little bit lower. Ooh. Ooh. Tag him. Combination right there. Come on, Vic. Where you going? 
Victor thing. See, you know Victor usually an aggressive fighter. I think he's scared to commit because he know the power I got. Feeling it, so he's been trying to stay on the outside and fight smart. And I give him credit. He's smart for fighting like that. But he ain't that smart. I mean, I feel like if you gonna fight that style. Gotta be effective on the outside. He's not that effective. Ooh, he got me right there though. But I'm in I'm inside though. I'm not outside. I decided to come in on it. Ooh, ooh. How am I missing like that? Uh. Bam Bam's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Get out of here, Vic. No, see these blocking people. I'm not stuck in there. And he in, returns on that exchange. They want me. I guess that's the strategy. They want me to come in because if I don't go in, the fight not going to be no fight. It's just going to be me and him on the outside. Ooh, there we go, stuck him. I'm trying to stay close, but not too close. To like, close enough to attack him. Like, like that, like I miss. Got him, but he hit me back. Up now. At times he has shown defense tonight. Other times, like what we've seen recently, he's getting so hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he go. has to do is now See, like, why the punch not extending out? Get out of here, bro. Damn, bro. This boy Vic just what? Scored well up top. Tried to land that upstairs. See, the punch, he's throwing that straight, and I'm trying to catch him, but it's like my punch not extending out. I caught him that time, though, really. Um, this round comes to an end. His eyes swollen on the other side. On my left side. He wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he's throwing them up. It wasn't landing a lot. Is that because he got of his opponent's defense? Too. Or is he just not that and accurate? And that's still no, low. I'm still at 86%, so I feel like I'm A1. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a oh. little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Oh, there we go. Coach, I was going to get you. Go ahead, lay down, bro. You a timeout, bro. Any time off the block, it's going to straight to the bottom in the midsection. You can even block it in. I hit him in the top of the head. <laughs> oh, bro, I really got them hands. I don't know why they keep challenging me, bro. Vic, just stay down, bro. Stay down. Ah, I got it. Right, we got to pressure this dude. They need to treat him after that knockdown. Come on, Vic. They also need to give some sound advice. Mm. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, mm. you go out this How next I miss. round and you kill some time. Tie yes. him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early is, part though. of the fight or the early him. part of the he round. Just get yourself back, back together. The clean there, there we go. Once again, he goes down. Bop. Right in the middle. I don't think that was the nose, that was the mouth. Two, three, four, five. Stay down, man. Stay down, man. He got up. Ortiz is now getting back up off the canvas. Ooh. Mm. I'm throwing power shots now. That's how I hit him the last time. I'm throwing power shots now. Come on, bro. Keeping his hands you know up, I do this. Way of his Come effort. on, Vic. Oh, how I miss. Ortiz is finding out right now that Got this counter-punching style is not getting the results he needs in these middle Got rounds. Him. What is the answer? Well, when a guy's not coming punch. in or walking in, you can't counter-punch him. I'm just him. better. He's not, he's not giving you the kind of turf that you mm, need. Now you have to power find hook. a way to create the offense, nine, though. to lead a little bit. That starts with the jab, getting off first. Mm, there we go, baby. Oh, my God. Boy, stiffened up. If you get up right here, then like this dude, just look at him. Uh, uh. Get up right here, bro. He's done. That's it, baby. Hey. You already know what it is. At Bam Bam Porter with another knockout, bro. We're about to get that belt soon. We're close. we super close, bro. Man, this is crazy how I'm knocking these dudes out. I'm ready to go. Anyway, don't forget to like the video and sub to the channel again. That's free, people. Don't cost you nothing, bro.
I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.